Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, hi. My name is Nelly. So, we're here to talk about a very important topic that I feel we should address. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should address it. Okay. So, yes, I want to talk about love. <laughs> what a topic. From a different angle. Okay, so, I have come to realize that everybody wants to be loved everybody is seeking to be loved everybody wants to be given an attention that is what i have come to realize that both male and female but i think this is a topic that should be discussed everything starts with the foundation that is what i would say if the foundation of a building is very strong no matter what comes after the foundation it can hold it so i think the issue is from the foundation I mean is the family so the family is made up of mother father children I'm talking about a nuclear family now let me feel that way let me say it that way in an ideal situation okay so now father and mother come together they are coming together will bring up another woman so that is where reproduction comes to play when the children come they don't know whatever you have gone through in life they don't know whatever that had happened to you they are just innocent let me say for example you go to a place you're working at a place you are working there as an experienced person let me say you have worked there for like a week two weeks a month two months you are already experienced then a new joiner comes to join your team he doesn't know whatever that is happening in your team He's just a new joiner. He might, might have had experience in another company, wherever he or she is coming from. He doesn't have an idea of what is happening in your own environment. And you're already there before the person. To be believed that where there is teamwork, you should put the person through. Like, you should bring the person up to speed to what is happening in your own team. When you do that, the person will understand what is happening in your own team. And the person will just fit in. Okay, let's bring that to the family. Two children they have just been born. Let me say they are coming, they are in new intake into your family. And they don't know what life is all about. They don't know what you it is your role to guide them. The first love they will experience should come from you as a parent. The first attention they should need should come from you as a parent. They should understand what love is all about, what the world they are coming into. You have already been in the world, you have an experience of the world. They should know what the world is all about. They should know what the world is talking about, which means they are expecting you to teach them. They are expecting you to guide them. But what is happening now, people are just born into the world. They navigate their way. They go into the society. And you know, society is made up of different families. It's the workplace, to give an example, because that resonates well with me. So, if you're in a working in the worker environment, everybody will bring in their input based on their experience, right? Process engineer will bring her input. If you're in a project, a civil engineer will bring his own input. So with all these inputs, they can have a good project in place. Bring that to the society rather. So society will have different families. So they will bring in whatever they have, they are coming in from with from their different families. That is what they will bring in. That is what they will bring in. Like social media, for example. So the way, the way people respond in social media, the way people talk, that will tell you from the school of thought where they are coming from. So are you not telling me now that when your family will go to the society to represent you, what are they representing you as? So what I'm saying in a nutshell is that you should show your child, guide your child in the way to go. If you know you're not going to give this child the maximum love or he or she requires, what is the essence of bringing the child to the world? Because you're bringing the child to the place that the child does not have an experience of, doesn't know anything about. So why would you allow the child to, to be in the mercy of the society that are people from different families? So why are you not too, why are you not confident of your own self to give your to, to, to be the first person that will give your child the quality he or she requires? Why would you leave it? Your child in the mess of the society. And when the child grows up, the child doesn't know whatever life is talking about. The child is allowed to navigate life. 
no love, no attention. Maybe because the parents, the later went their separate ways, and because of that, the child should suffer. No, the child is not supposed to suffer. The child is not supposed to suffer. God is love. Give this child the maximum love he or she requires. If you are a father, love your daughter. Because your attention, your role will, will make your daughter to understand what man, the role of a man in her life. If you are a man, if you have a son, teach your son how to behave, how to live life. Based on your experience, what you have learned, what you have seen, you should be able to guide your son, your child. Don't leave them to the society. Love. I'm talking about love. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, honor your husbands. Love them in return. Children, obey your parents. Parents, love your children. Children are lacking love. A teenage girl, whenever anybody possesses love to her, she has jumping, running, she's ready to be vulnerable to the person, all because nobody told her that she's loved. You see them growing with low self esteem, low self value. They accept whatever they see. They accept whatever comes their way, all just because they want to be validated, they want to be loved. Why not show these children love as they are growing up? Love your children. Tell them you love them. Tell them they don't know what love. Show them what love is. They will learn from you. And when they grow up, they will not be in the mercy of the society. A lot of things are dysfunctional. Don't add to dysfunctional things in the society. Love your children. Love your children. Love your children equally. Don't love this and and show this one that he or she doesn't matter you are the one who brought them to this earth they did not beg you to bring them yes the last time i checked they did not beg you so why will you not bring them to this earth that you have been here before them they are new intake why not show them what it takes how love you're looking for why not give it to them why not show them what life is do they have to come and see go through what you went through are you having a good experience would you want them to also go through what you went through Let's make our society a better society. Thank you.